Giannis recently said that this year is going to be the toughest championship you could ever win. Mm. I mean, all things considered, do you agree? I mean, it definitely makes it different and weird. Um, the toughest, I don't know, because everyone's dealing with the same issues, right? So the thing that we're, you know, to me, toughest is when you have adverse conditions that are more adverse than your opponents, right? The Houston Rockets in 1995 being a six seed, beating 450 win teams on the route to the top. That's a tough title, right? The, uh, uh, you know, it, I'm trying to think of, of a championship where somebody won without their best player, right? Their best player was hurt, and then they ended up winning the championship. Anyway, that's tough to me. Um, this is tough, but everyone's going through the same toughness, so it kind of levels that playing field out. what's closer to the truth? That is this going to be the toughest championship, or it will, just, it will need an asterisk? Oh, I mean, if it's if you're asking me to pick one of those two, then I'm going to go with toughest championship. I don't think as long as we're playing four rounds of best of seven basketball, then it's a, it's a legitimate championship to me. We already played almost 60 some odd games of regular season. The, the fact that we're cutting the regular season short by 10 games doesn't mean anything to me that that doesn't that doesn't affect or impact this. Uh, this is going to be a legitimate championship all the way through. But will it be the toughest? I don't know about that one. I'm with Giannis. It's going to be one of the greatest championships of all time due to the circumstances that we're dealing with, right? The coronavirus. Players having to leave their families and go into a billion-dollar bubble and go play during this pandemic. On top of that, players having mixed emotions and, and having to deal with whether or not they're making the right move during this time Why? because of, uh, of the That's Black that. Lives Movement, mm -hmm. some, you know, during this time, right? So to me, I'm looking at it without fans, right? You know, having to find that extra juice, that extra competitive nature, like, right, to go out there and compete, having a four-month layoff, who's going to get in shape, who's going to hit the ground running. I think it's going to be one of the greatest championships of all time. He's right. Like, this is adversity to the max to me, I mean. Like, this is adversity. You're going into a bubble where you can't be around your family, you're around, you're staying in the hotel, you got strict rules, all this stuff, right? So to me, I'm with Giannis. This is the greatest championship. This might be one of the greatest championships of all time. I think it's, I think it's going to depend on what happens. Uh, yeah. obviously. Um, you know, say, like, I'm just saying, if we get to the finals and, um, you know, half of the Lakers test positive for COVID and then they can't play um, and then say the Bucks win against, you know, Jared Dudley and, Dion Waiters, I think that that's gonna that like, but like just how we see some people, you know, put an asterisk on the Raptors title because they weren't playing against Kevin Durant yeah. or Clay Thompson. I, I'm just saying, if there's that argument out there, I'm not saying. I, I think it was a legitimate title, but if people are gonna say that, um, and I, I just think there's there's a lot that well, if, if they go say yeah. that. If they go say that, then they need to put an asterisk on, on the 2010 Lakers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Her, there we her, go. If you go say her, that, what? On that note, my buddy Tom Habistro, who used to work with us at ESPN Nights at NBC Sports, he wrote an article about, yes, there should be an asterisk on this championship, but also there are a couple other ones. And then he went through... And he literally put an asterisk on every single championship in the history That's of the fair. NBA because something happened. Right. Something happened each yeah. time where, yes. well, he was suspended. Well, he was hurt. Where he, well, this is that. Like, yeah. there's never a championship it's where everybody was perfect and we just played it. Skill. You're right. It's perseverance as much as it is skill. Um, and speaking of, let, 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 let's skip into the main attraction. Mm. Um, as uh, on Friday, we reviewed the schedule and spent a lot of time talking about the chaos at the bottom of the West. But I like to revisit the bottom of the East, um, which is going to be a war of attrition. Uh, as we're calling it, it's the, the least of the East. <laughs> As we look at the standings, you guys, we see Brooklyn at 30 and 34, half game up on Orlando, six games ahead of Washington. Now, if the nine seed team gets within four games of the eighth seed, they activate the play-in tournament. I mean, how do you see this playing out? Uh, I see Orlando moving up to seven, and that's about it. I don't, I just don't see Washington making up that kind of ground, especially considering, uh, you know, 
Davis Bertans has been one of their best players. He's not playing. Um, if I'm Bradley Beal, I'm probably not going to play much, if at all. And obviously, John Wall isn't playing either. I, I think, you know, we're, we're so focused on the Nets and who they're not bringing. But as Perk pointed out earlier, Kyrie and Kevin Durant weren't going to play anyway. So, like, why are we counting them as, like, this is going to hurt their chances? So, yeah, I, I just I, – I don't see Washington really – making enough of a, uh, a noise to for us to even trigger that playing tournament. I, I do. I do. I played for Scott Brooks and Scott Brooks is a feisty coach. He's a competitive coach and all he wants to do is win. And if he has a chance to get into the playoffs, I'm telling you right now, I like the Wizards, right? Bradley Beal was on the tear before yep. the, the pandemic went out. He was on, I mean, cooking people. Ish Smith has been playing some beautiful basketball for them. Yes, they're going to miss Bertans, but if you look at this Washington Wizards team right now and say Spencer Dinwiddie doesn't come back, they're still better than the Brooklyn Nets, right? Oh, but boy. Hey, hold on. You're not going to disrespect Karis LeVert right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, you taking Karis LeVert or, or Bradley Beal? I'm taking Bradley Beal if okay, he then. actually okay, plays. Then. Okay, but but, so that, but, that's but, but, but Karis LeVert has stakes that Bradley Beal doesn't have right now. What you mean? Karis LeVert is in the driver's seat of going in the playoffs. So these eight games are going to be meaningful from the jump for him all the way throughout the eight games. Meaningful, Bradley Beal, I don't know if he's going to have the same. Meaningful. Kind of meaningful. meaningful why, though? Meaningful why? Let me ask you why. Let me, let me ask why. Though. Yeah, like, if you, don't have, yeah. if you don't have your guys, I mean, Tell me why is it so meaningful to Levert to get to the ace spot and play the Milwaukee Bucks knowing you don't have the firepower that you know you can have, especially if Dinwiddie don't play. It's not like he's playing for a contract. And Karis Levert is one of those guys who has some injury history. I mean, there's there's a lot they of – don't even know guys. who their coach is. Uh, it's Jack Vaughn, man. It's Jack Vaughn. Yeah. Yeah. It's Jack Vaughn. It's Jack Vaughn. Well, all I know is, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this, Cassidy. I mean, listen. All I know is that the Wizards was trying to get to that A spot. Before the pandemic, they were playing hard, great basketball. Bradley Beal was playing at a high level. And I think they're going to go for that, that A spot. Why? Yeah, August 2nd, August 2nd um, you know, Washington plays the Nets. If the Wizards go 5-3, and three, they're 29-43. and 43. If the Nets go three and five, they're thirty-three and thirty-nine, so they're in that four four game range. Um, I think. Can, it's I out, can I point out something about the Wizards that that this my, my good friend Kenneth Perkins is caping for so hard? Did you know they have a worse record than the Phoenix Suns? We ain't talking like, about I, Nets. We're talking about saying, the Nets. Hey, like, I'm just saying, like, think about how like how bad you have to be. Like for the Suns guy, they got a better record. Well, they played the Suns first. Did you see that? We just showed the yeah. we showed the schedule. So, so yeah. <laughs> we'll, we will see. 